The oculomotor nerve is the third cranial nerve and is purely motor. The oculomotor nerve originates from the oculomotor nucleus at the level of the superior colliculus in the midbrain. The oculomotor nucleus is located ventral to the periaqueductal gray matter. Fibers from the oculomotor nucleus pass through the red nucleus, then pass through the medial part of substantia nigra, exiting through the interpeduncular fossa. On emerging from the midbrain, the oculomotor nerve passes between the posterior cerebral artery, located superior to the nerve, and superior cerebral artery, located below the nerve. The nerve enters the lateral wall of cavernous sinus, traversing it in its superior part. Before leaving the lateral wall of cavernous sinus, the oculomotor nerve splits into a superior division and an inferior division. Those two divisions will enter the orbit via the superior orbital fissure. The superior division is smaller and supplies the superior rectus muscle and the levator palpebri superioris muscle. The inferior division of the oculomotor nerve, the larger, divides into three branches. Branch to medial rectus, branch to inferior rectus, and the third branch, which is the longest, goes to the inferior oblique muscle. The oculomotor nerve also contains parasympathetic fibers, which we will indicate using the green color. The preganglionic parasympathetic fibers originate in the edinger westphal nucleus, located in the midbrain at the level of superior colliculus, just posterior to the oculomotor nucleus. These parasympathetic fibers will travel within the oculomotor nerve, then will follow the course of the inferior division of the nerve, then follows the branch to inferior oblique, finally arriving at the ciliary ganglion via a communicant of the branch to inferior oblique with the ganglion. This communicant is called the parasympathetic root of ciliary ganglion. The ciliary ganglion is located behind the eye and lateral to the optic nerve and contains parasympathetic postganglionic neurons. The parasympathetic postganglionic fibers from these neurons will reach the posterior pole of the eye via the short ciliary nerves. Then, the postganglionic parasympathetic fibers pass forward in delicate grooves on the inner surface of the sclera and are distributed to the ciliary muscle and the sphincter pupillae.